every setback is just a setup for a comeback? That's not just a fancy line. It's your new motto. Imagine turning every oops into a cheer and every no way into a let's go. Today, we dive into making that happen. We're not just talking about bouncing back. We're about to learn how to bounce higher than we ever did before. Art or direction. It's an understanding that we find the power to forgive ourselves, to embrace our humanity with all its imperfections. Let's start seeing life not as a series of missed opportunities, but as a rich tapestry of experiences that shape us, mold us, and teach us. Every regret has the potential to be the key that unlocks a door to a new understanding, a new path, and yes, a new opportunity. As we stand here together, at the beginning of our conversation, I invite you to think about your own regrets, not as weights that tether you to the past, but as wings that can propel you into a future filled with wisdom, strength, and the courage to embrace life in all its fullness. Let's dive into a topic that touches every one of us, regret. You see, regret is that feeling we get when we look back and wish we'd done things differently. It's like carrying around a backpack full of the what ifs and I if onlys. But have you ever stopped to think about what regret really does to us? How it affects us deep down? Imagine someone who always dreamed of becoming an artist, but instead they took a more practical route because they were told it was the sensible thing to do. Years down the line, they find themselves looking back, wondering what life would have been like if they'd followed their passion. That's regret. It's looking at the canvas of our lives and wondering why we left it blank or why we didn't use the colors we truly love. Or consider the parent who always put work first, thinking there'd be plenty of time for family later, only to realize that the laters they were waiting for has slipped quietly by. They missed the first steps, the school plays, the bedtime stories, and for what? A few extra dollars in the bank, a nicer car in the driveway, Regret doesn't just remind us of our missed opportunities. It impacts us psychologically. It can make us feel stuck, like we're living in the past with no way to change course. It can lead to sadness or even depression as we dwell on what could have been. But here's the thing. While we can't change the past, we can learn from it. Acknowledging our regrets isn't about beating ourselves up over them. It's about recognizing where we are understanding how we got here and figuring out where we want to go from here. It's about saying, yes, I wish I'd done things differently, but I'm here now and I have the power to shape my future. Think about this. Every regret is a lesson in disguise. When we look at them closely, they can teach us about who we really are and what we truly value. They can help us make better choices moving forward, but only if we're brave enough to face them. So I invite you to take a moment. Think about your own regrets. Not to dwell on them, but to ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Maybe it's to take more risks, to follow your heart, to spend more time with loved ones, or to live more in the moment. Remember, life is an incredible journey of growth and discovery. And sometimes it's the roads we didn't take that teach us the most about how to navigate the ones we're on now. So let's not hide from our regrets or let them define us. Instead, let's use them as stepping stones to build a more fulfilling, more vibrant future. After all, the best way to deal with regret is to create a life you love, starting right now. Think about this. Every single choice we make is like setting the sails on a ship, guiding us through the vast ocean of life. Every yes and every no, every turn we take or don't take, it all adds up, shaping our destiny bit by bit. It's pretty amazing when you think about it, how each decision, big or small, leads us down a path to where we are right now. For something that might catch your attention, what happens when we don't make a decision? Well, not deciding is a decision in itself and it has its own set of consequences. Imagine standing at a crossroads and instead of choosing a path, you just sit. You haven't chosen a direction, but you've chosen to stop moving forward. That's what indecision does. It freezes us in place, leaving us watching life pass by. It's like wanting to sail to new horizons, but never letting the ship leave the harbor. Now, let's, let's talk about the choices we've already made. The ones that keep us up at night, wondering 
what if? Maybe we think we should have chosen differently, done something else. But beating ourselves up over past decisions doesn't change them. It only weighs us down with regret. So how do we make peace with these decisions? First, by accepting them. Accept that at that moment with what you knew and felt, you made the best choice you could. And then realize the power you hold in your hands right now. The power to choose differently going forward. Every day brings new choices, new paths to explore. It's never too late to start making decisions that align with who you are and what you truly want. Whether it's changing careers, mending relationships, or taking up a new hobby, it starts with a decision. And yes, it can be scary to make big choices, to commit to a path. But there's something even scarier, letting life slip by without ever taking the wheel without ever daring to choose your own adventure. So I challenge you. The Stearns Hitchens is not as daunting crossroads, but as opportunities, as stepping stones to the life you dream of. And remember, the only wrong choice is letting fear make your decisions for you. Let's embrace the power of decision-making. Let's steer our ships into the wind. Let's see where this incredible journey of life takes us together. In life, every moment, Every situation holds a lesson waiting to be discovered. It's like digging for treasure, but instead of gold, we're unearthing wisdom, insight, and growth. Now let's talk about transforming regrets into these valuable lessons, turning what might seem like setbacks into setups for a future filled with more joy and less regret. Imagine if we could look at our regrets, not as painful reminders of what could have been, but as guiding lights leading us towards better decisions, stronger... First, consider the power of the present moment. It's the only time we truly have control over. Yet how often do we let it slip back but the very pillars upon which the edifice of personal achievement is built? Let's delve into this, shall we? Consider for a moment the bridge that spans the cast felt long after we're gone. How then do we ensure that our life is remembered fondly? It begins with living a life of integrity and purpose. Integrity is the compass that guides us through the tumultuous seas of life's choices. It's about being true to our values, even when no one's watching, especially when making the hard choices. 